I'm going to start by saying <laughs> um, uh, this. Sh I really enjoyed what I saw of this show. I think it's going to be a big hit. Uh, so congrats on that. Thank you. Um, I, I want to start with the. the uh, what year do you think this show takes place in? It's timeless. timeless. <laughs> there we go. It's not I actually worldly. love that. I love it's how it starts and it says this year because then in any I year you it. watch yeah. it, it's that year. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I love it. I think it's and great. And there is also something about um, filmically that we've sort of, um, we, we still hold the, the sort of 60s genre yeah. and mm -hmm. 50s genre in high esteem. And, I, and, and everything that we, especially in, the, in America, it seems, to hold near and dear are those iconic 50s visuals. Mm -hmm. And so there's, there's the, definitely we're drawing on that. If you, I need to ask Lisa Soper or Angus Strathy about that. But, um, but it feels that, that we're not stuck in time, mm -hmm. but rather that it's a sort of otherworldliness yeah. that, that sits comfortably in that, in that version of that era. It definitely sure. has the 60s elements. I'm just going to stroke some of this brown stuff off because I think it's a little bit of BS. Is that BS there? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. That's great. I was like, wait, what? oh, I got it. Oh, got um, it. <laughs> catching up. Catching up, Gryffindor. Uh, <laughs> one of the things also that I like about the show is that it just jumps right in. It doesn't try to catch you up. It, it, it You're just inserted mm -hmm. yeah. in this, like, what, where she's at, yeah. what she's dealing with, yeah. and yeah. you just catch up to that. Yeah, uh, catch up. Don't pa we're not patronizing the audience. Yeah. It's like, b be with us, join us, mm -hmm. get on board immediately. If not, we'll see you later. There's another train coming along. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of shows nowadays kind of like, I, what I feel like with this on demand, as, as amazing as it is, that they kind of spoon feed the audience sometimes because they're trying to build these worlds so quickly. And this drops you right into it and you know, yeah. Yeah. lets the audience be immersed from the get-go rather yeah. than just telling you this happens here, this happens there. No, completely. Yeah. Um, what do you think would surprise people to learn about the making of Sabrina, if anything? Um, it usually surprises people to know that the first two episodes took a month each. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Which was, which was pretty, it was pretty Let's rewind that for amazing. one second. The first two episodes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they took a month, about a month each. They were movies. Yeah, yeah they, were, they were little films. Wow. Um, and also they were and trying it, to find out how, how everyone came together as well as like trying mm -hmm. to figure out, you know, everyone's language together. And then after that it was figured out, we just... It was very complicated because they mm -hmm. had all these amazing energies. Uh, mm -hmm. That that would be us. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I guess slash chemistry and finding where our strengths and weaknesses were and, and how you they could unite us to, mm -hmm. to, yeah. to uh, produce the most powerful product. Mm -hmm. And uh, that That's meant doing it in lots of different tones and lots of different readings and filming all of it so mm -hmm. that Roberto could sit with his opera <laughs> and and construct uh, what you see on the screen. Yeah. Oh, so basically, so some of the scenes, so basically you're saying like some of those scenes played a, a few different ways, yeah. found oh, yeah. it in the edit, yeah. and then, so what happened after you filmed the second episode, there was like a little bit of a break? They, no, they knew, they, th we throughout like that, our we were Got finding, it. we were really exploring tone, and by the time we finished doing the second movie <laughs> uh, slash episode, um, they were really clear as to mm -hmm. you know who who we were, mm -hmm. where we sat in the grander picture, and what our um, connections yeah. were. And so yeah. it's all down to tone. Yeah. And, and that's then, why it's so immersive. Yeah. You know, it's because we spent that time and we made it so good. Yeah. And then and then right when it starts, it chops you right in. You know. By then we all had like our shorthand, so we all kind of like. We just go, oh, I see what you mean, I see what you mean, and we were just kind you of You know like, who you are. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you can start making like choices more um, naturally without mm -hmm. having to think about it. You uh, just know who you are. After, how much did you know after the second episode of the rest of the arc of the season, and how much were you finding it out script by script? Well, well R R R Roberto um, <laughs> likes to give nuggets here and there, but yeah. he, he doesn't want to give too much away because he wants to keep you know, uh, everyone guessing as well, because th there are some times that if he has an idea, because, you know, he's, his head, like, it, it seems to explode with him, great ideas. And so if you have an idea, he'll put it in. And then if his other idea trumps this idea, he, he'll, he'll, he'll want to change it and, and, you know, make it even better. He's, um, it works out that way. So sometimes he, he doesn't want to say too much so that you don't get stuck on a certain idea yourself. So, so you have a, we, have a, we have a vague idea of who yeah. we are and yes. where we're going. Yeah. So we get the A to B, or rather we get the A to Z and he does all the rest of the yeah. alphabet mm -hmm. and yeah. fills it in beautifully with an incredibly unusual um, construction of language. We know some of the what's, we just don't know the hows and the why, the intricacies, and that they really color it. 
Um, I've spoken to a lot of actors, and each person likes to work a different way. Some people love music before they're about to film. Some people love silence. Like, everyone has their meth methodology, cheese. if you will. Cheese. I like cheese before I film. <laughs> right. I like to have cheese before I film. But be being completely <laughs> serious, uh, how do that you... I am serious. Oh, I'm not, I, I know. There's nothing wrong <laughs> with cheese. There's nothing wrong with cheese. Is this, is this a rider in the contract? It, yes, it Got is. Got it. Yes, but it is. specifically blue cheese, though. Is uh, it? Come on. Right, for, for each of you though, mm -hmm. um, how do you typically like to get ready when you're getting ready to film? Do you have like a certain rhythm? I have, there's a certain tr music list that I'll listen to to get myself in Ambrose mode. Mine is constantly fluctuating. Um, I really like to watch the actors that I'm working with and learn from them um, and just try to I try to constantly learn and try to uh, try to make it better all the time. So sometimes that could mean you know listening to to good music that I'm into at the time, or that could mean watching the scene that's filming prior to my scene and and picking up little nuggets here and there, you know. Cheese, cheese, and cheese. cheese. Uh, my last, cheese. Thing, my last thing for you. Uh, memorable moments from filming. Is there for each of you? Is there a day or two that you will always remember yeah. from filming the show? Oh. There are um, they're so actually yeah. they're actually racking up. I yeah. mean, the, what what this show does, I think, beautifully in terms of its production value, is that it's it gives a very respectful nod to some of the most iconic moments that have happened in the horror genre. And so there's moments that you're in and 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 you're kind of re vaguely recreating um, mm. in the composition of that shot, and then you find yourself in that shot that that had an impact on you when you were growing up yeah. because it might have been in The Exorcist or Rosemary's Baby or just something that's a sort of a very um, respectful uh, nod to what's gone before us because nothing is, as you know, unless it's Shakespeare, that's all been said before. We're just saying it better. <laughs>